Good evening everybody, my name is Teacher Prashant and welcome to my video. In this video we'll be talking about linear equations basics. And the topic which we will be talking about is a term. And before I start this video, I'm going to tell you something. We're going to be studying term in details. So if you all have any confusion regarding the topic term in your mind or regarding any question you're trying to solve, this video will help you out. So without any delay let's get started okay and the answer is as simple as it could be term is any variable or constant or in coefficient multiplied by a variable together so those three names are actually terms but this definition has a hidden meaning and that meaning lies in the part where it says separated by operators plus and minus only. Now keep that in mind that what that means. A term can be separated into two terms by just two operators plus and minus which gives out to the second meaning which is multiplication and division cannot separate a term into two term. Let's learn with some examples. So read the definition it says term is any variable so in our last video we learned everything about variable constant and coefficients if you guys are not familiar with the word variable constant or coefficient I will drop a link to my last video in which I explained variable constant and, and coefficient in details and the link will be on the top right of your screen so you can just click and watch the video if you want to watch before learning this because make sure if you don't understand the meaning of variable constant and coefficient you cannot understand what is a term so make sure you know all those three terms before you watch this video that's highly recommended now let's get started term is any variable as you can see in the definition it says term is any variable so let's write um, variable so in my mind all I can think of is x. Now it says that term is any variable or constant. So if you guys don't know what is a constant, constant is actually any numeric value in an expression or equation or in a term. It's called a constant. So let me write my constant. All I can think of is 8. And coefficient multiplied by variable as you can see in the definition. Let me write 4x. So right now on our screen we have a variable, we have a constant, and we have a coefficient and variable together. How does this help us learn what a term is? Let's see. So x is a variable. So let's just write down really quick. x is a variable. Now in the definition it says term is any variable. So if x is a variable, this variable can be also called as a term same applies with 8. 8 is a constant and a term is any constant as well so we can call this constant as a term. What about this 4x? 4x basically is 4 multiply x. So what is 4? 4 is a coefficient and what is x? x is of course the variable. Okay so coefficient multiplied variable. As we can see in our definition, coefficient and variable multiplied together are also terms. So I guess we can call them a term, so they are also a term. So now we know what is a term. What is a term? Any variable, constant, or, or coefficient and variable multiplied together is called a term. That's simple. Now I want to say, say for x. We all know that 4x is a term. Now let's talk about this phrase in the term separated by operations plus and minus only. What does this line mean? It means that two terms can be separated only by plus and minus. Now let's break down 4x. Okay, so if we break down 4x, we get 4 multiply x. Multiplication cannot keep this in your mind please it cannot separate a term if it could separate a term 4 would be a constant 
and x would be a variable. And since 4 would be a constant, it would be a term itself, and variable would be a term itself, which will give out two terms. But, as a matter of fact, 4x is only one term. So, as we saw, multiplication cannot separate terms. That's why 4x is one term, not two. Now, let's recap the definition of a term. Terms are what? Variables like x, y, z, as we learn. Terms are also constants, which are independent numeric values. 2, 4, 9, 12, 18, 90, whatever. And a coefficient and variable multiplied together, which is 2x, 5y, or 9z. So, let me ask you a question. How many terms do you see here? x is one term, y is second term, z is third term. So we see here total of three terms. As we move down to the coefficient and the variable multiplied together, which gives out a term, so 2x and 5y and 9z. So this is term 1, this is term 2, and this is term 3, which gives out a total of three terms. So, simple. Terms are what? Variable, constant, and coefficient and variable multiplied together. Simple. Okay, now it's time to confuse you. My question is, x divided by 2, is this a term? Or is this not a term? That's my question to you all. What do you think? Now, while you think, let me tell you the answer. Yes, it is. Now, the same question again. How and why? And the answer is, let me explain you. Let me write down the same term, x equal 2. Now, I say that x equal 2 is a term. Earlier I said that division cannot separate a term as well as multiplication. Why multiplication cannot separate a term? We just learned up above. Okay, so now we're going to learn how division cannot separate any term. Let's see how it goes. So I'll say term is coefficient multiply with variable. Now I say that x over 2 is a term. Let me just prove you why this is a one term. And this contains coefficient and variable together. Now let's go ahead and work this out. Let's just write x divided by 2 equals can we write that 1 over 2 x equal 1x divided by 2 equal x divided by 2. Let me make it a little bit more simple for you. So it means 1 over 2 multiply x equal 1 x over 2 equal x over 2. That's the most detailed breakup of any term I've ever done in my life. So what we should be looking at right now is this term. Now, what is x? We all know what is an x. x is a variable. What is 1 over 2? Is a coefficient. And they both are multiplied together. That gives out that it is a term. By that, I mean just one term. So now we know x over 2 equal 1 over 2 multiply x, which gives out a variable and a coefficient multiplied together and which gives out to one term. Simple. Now let's look at the main extracts from this topic. Again, what are terms? Terms are variables like x, y, z and constants like 2, 3, 7 and coefficient variable like 2x, 3y, 
4z or x divided by 2. Now as you can see 4z means 4 multiply z but it is still one term because multiplication cannot separate a term. Same goes with x over 2 which has been explained right here. Why? It is a term not two different terms. So division and multiplication cannot separate term into two terms. Keep that in mind. So now we know what is a term. Let's move on and go write 15 terms as a mix of variable, constant and coefficient multiplied by variable together. Okay, so the first term I'm gonna write is 2x. Second term I'm gonna write is 4 over x. Third term I'm gonna write is 4x and the fourth one I'm gonna write is 10. And now I'm gonna write 10y divided by 2. So we need three more. Let's write one constant, 996. Let's write a coefficient variable. Let's write 12x and one coefficient variable again. Let's write 40x divided by 10. See? That's how easy it is to write a term. And that's all what a term is. So there's the end of my video. So before I finish the video, let me tell you what I'm going to teach in my next video. So the topic which I will cover in my next video is expression. And we're going to do that in detail. So, once again, thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. A very goodbye from Teacher Prashant. I'll see you guys again soon. Thank you.